Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a magical Wednesday or whatever day of the week that you're watching this. Today I'm really excited because I was actually, one of you guys reached out to me, Lexi reached out to me on Instagram and was really excited because she had recently got some new crystals in her collection, um, but she was experiencing some headaches and just kind of like energy overwhelm with these crystals and we got down to the bottom of it and it all had to do with clear quartz. So I figured this would be the perfect time to jump back into the Crystal Bible series that we have going here on our channel and talk all about clear quartz today and its healing properties and kind of some do's and some don'ts with clear quartz. If you're excited to learn all about this magical crystal today, give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, my name is Tayluna. Welcome to our Spirituality Hippie Fun channel. I hope that you subscribe and become part of our tribe. I would be honored to have you here. So I wanted to say if you're new to this and you haven't seen our crystal Bible videos before we basically are going through each crystal one by one in a video and talking all about its properties how to get you know the benefits from this crystal so if you want to go ahead and catch up I think we only have one or two so far we're still at the beginning but I'll leave all the videos linked down below and if you head over to my website I have everything written out for you there's even printables that you can download so you can take notes with all of your different crystals. I know that I personally am a big note taker when it comes to stuff like this. Um, if you have a book of shadows or if you have a meditation journal or anything like that, um, you can definitely head over to the website, get the printables and stick them right in your journal so you can keep notes on all of your crystals, not forget anything. And yeah, I'm super freaking excited. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to kind of share some of my favorite crystals with you before I actually get into all of the healing properties. So if you don't want to see crystals for whatever reason I'll leave the timestamp down below you can skip ahead to just the properties but I wanted to show you a couple of my favorite pieces of clear quartz that I have if you're a beginner my personal recommendation is to always start small get yourself a small set of crystals so you can kind of get to know what the energy feels like for you get to know what it feels like to work with it before you invest in a larger piece um, and clear quartz is a good one to start with because it is fairly inexpensive it's fairly commonly found <laughs> so it's you know easy to get your hands on. This is one of my little boxes that I have filled with crystals. This is where I keep all of my clear quartz points and stuff like that. If you do crystal gridding or if you do Reiki healing, I am a Reiki master, so I use these in my Reiki sessions a lot. If you want to book a session, by the way, you can go and do that down below. I'm really excited to start doing that. Um, so I keep all of my smaller points in here. I do have some larger points. This is like a really fun wand that I have. My camera is just like, nope, I'm not going to focus today. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really fun wand that I have. I love using these. You can use these to activate your crystal grids. You can use these to do Reiki healing and stuff like that. You can channel energy going to like one particular spot since it's a point. And I have a lot of other points like this. These are the points that I actually keep in my bathroom. If you guys saw my energy cleansing video that I do in the shower, I keep these in there. I'll also link that video down below so you can check it out. So yeah, I have all kinds of different styles and the thing to remember about these is like regardless of the size, they do the same exact thing. You know what I mean? They're all clear quartz. The, the like molecular structure of them is the same. So you can get a smaller piece and start with that and then work your way up to like bigger, more pretty looking pieces or whatever, you know what I mean? I have a lot of people asking about that on these videos. Does it matter the size? Not really, especially if you're a beginner and you're just kind of learning. It definitely doesn't matter at all. And then these are the last two. I have more. I'm gonna do an updated crystal collection video soon, um, but these are probably some of my favorites that I have. I love this one so much. It's like a, a freaking wand and it has all these little points. And then this is a large, large and in charge piece that I also found. These are mostly from local crystal shops. Oh, here's another one. It's super dirty because I had it out in my garden. <laughs> Definitely a good crystal to put out in your garden, help your crystals. 
your crystals help your plants grow and stuff like that but yeah that's why there's dirt all up in it so most of these crystals are from local crystal shops I do have old videos about how to get cheap crystals on eBay and stuff like that um, but I do really recommend trying to support small businesses and local businesses people that have crystal shops are like you know that's their gig and they do a little happy dance when someone comes to buy a crystal from them so I really highly recommend doing that but anyway let's just jump right into all the goodness so right off the bat clear quartz is an amplifying stone clear quartz is a stone that is going to take all of the energy that it comes in contact with and like multiply it by a thousand <laughs> maybe not a thousand but it definitely amplifies the energy of whatever is around it it's a really good stone for doing crystal grids for that reason you can lay them out in a circle or you know like in a star or whatever and put other crystals inside set your intention and it's really good to amplify that intention to amplify the you know the frequencies of all of the other crystals and the intentions that you set as well clear quartz is a great one to meditate with especially if you struggle with meditation if you do um, any kundalini meditations or meditations where you're trying to visualize and see things and really open that third eye clear quartz is going to help you tap into more of that because it's so amplifying and also with the amplifying energy it's great for manifesting so when you set an intention with a clear quartz or if you set an intention and just have a clear quartz with you when you do that that stone is just going to kind of carry that intention that you have and again amplify that intention um, amplify whatever you're manifesting so you can kind of draw it into you faster of course you have to do your work too with that um, but it's really really good for manifesting for intention setting and for meditating it's great <laughs> so another property that clear quartz has is its ability to bring you clarity it's clear quartz there's all different kinds of quartz crystals if you look in books and stuff like that there's like a bajillion different kinds but clear quartz is exactly as it sounds it's clear some of it you know it does appear white at times but a really good piece of clear quartz you're going to be able to kind of see right through it so the ability for this stone to bring you clarity is absolutely incredible and if you're setting the intention to bring yourself clarity in a particular aspect or about a particular thing it's really going to help you be able to do that i have two books with me that i wanted to share with you and that's where i do a lot of my crystal research the first one is the crystal bible by judy hall this is a must have have if you're getting into crystal healing um, it has like every crystal that you could ever think of in here and I wanted to share with you what is in here about clear quartz clear quartz is one of the most powerful healing and energy amplifiers on the planet it is found worldwide which is why it is so cost-effective it is definitely easy to get your hands on it's not super expensive because it's found everywhere and it absorbs stores releases and regulates energy and is excellent for unblocking energy because of that amplifying quality that it has this crystal works at a vibrational level attuned to the specific energy requirements of the person needing healing or undertaking spiritual work so this is kind of with that programming with that intention setting with you know this is kind of also why it's so good to do crystal gridding with because it really takes in whatever you intend for it to do it takes the energy of the most perfect state possible going back to before the disease set in it cleanses and enhances the organs and subtle bodies and acts as a deep soul cleanser connecting the physical dimension with the mind at a spiritual level, this crystal raises energy to the highest possible level. Again, all of that amplifying. Containing every color possible, clear quartz works on all levels of being. So this really kind of taps into the chakras that we have. This video is more particular to clear quartz in itself, which is more of a crown chakra sort of stone, but it does come and grow in all different colors completely naturally. So it's really good to use this stone for all of the chakras that you have for healing all of them, for doing Reiki work and stuff like that. Um, and it doesn't have to necessarily be that specific color. So clear quartz has this super beautiful healing amplified energy that we love so, so, so much. 
but some things to keep in mind when you have clear quartz especially in your home us spiritual people love to you know decorate with our crystals and things like that so this is a stone that you want to be a little bit more careful with in the bedroom and that's because it will definitely 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 keep you awake at night our last crystal Bible video that we did was all about amethyst so I'll link that down below that is a good stone to have you know little pieces of in your bedroom clear quartz is one of those stones that if you have it in your bedroom or near your bed when you're sleeping the odds of you having issues sleeping are definitely higher especially for me I'm an insomniac I have issues sleeping as is that's just how it is for me so you definitely want to be careful with how much clear quartz you have in your bedroom if you want to put it next to a piece of amethyst or something to kind of help you sleep or help aid with those nightmares and stuff like that that's great but just keep that in mind when Lexi messaged me about her crystal issue um, the fact that she was getting headaches from all of her crystals was because it was kind of like an energy overload we as empaths people who are very sensitive to energy outside of ourselves it's really really easy for sometimes these crystals to feel overwhelming like when I was going to pick up all of these clear quartz pieces to show you in the video my head started to hurt a little bit and I sat down and I drank some water and that's just because there's so much of it in one one spot that it's all just kind of like amplifying each other and bouncing off of each other so it can be a little intense sometimes so um, what I told Lexi because she has a pouch of crystals that she takes with her every day is what it sounded like to me is to maybe maybe leave the clear quartz at home or if there's a crystal that you really really do resonate with one of them that she had was lapidolite that's really good for anxiety if you're having a super anxious day maybe only keep the lapidolite and a small piece of clear quartz with you you just want to be careful about that energy overload if you're an empath um, we'll talk more about empaths on this channel that's definitely something that I want to tap into but yes and that's why I think you should always start with smaller sized crystals because you never know how you're going to react and respond to the energy of the stones that you bring in, especially if you are sensitive to energy like me and I'm sure like many of you watching this video. So the second book that I really like to use for crystals is this one here, Love is in the Earth. This is a more spiritual crystal book. The Crystal Bible does more of the scientific reasoning behind all of this stuff it talks about more of like the physical properties and stuff like that that it can heal um, which is absolutely amazing and this one is just a little bit more of the spiritual side so I wanted to share some of that with you as well quartz crystals can be used to amplify both body energy and thoughts they can assist in the creation of power and can provide for clarity and thinking to enable thoughts to more effectively influence the matter. Quartz is said to bring the energy of the stars into the soul. Traditionally, the natural quartz crystal was said to both harmonize and align human energies, thoughts, consciousness, and emotions with the energies of the universe and to make these greater energies available to humanity. The quartz crystal is the connection between the physical dimension and the dimensions of the mind. It can be used to communicate with minerals, plants, animals, and intelligent forces outside of the physical dimension. And this is perfect because I said in one of my last plant videos that I did, um, I was showing you guys that I love to put clear quartz in my plants and help them grow, and that's kind of exactly what it's talking about. In early times when all things were thought to be conscious parts of a greater living consciousness, the quartz crystal was believed to synchronize the individual and total consciousness with that of the heavens and the advanced life forms. So this is such a freaking holy grail crystal, oh my gosh, if you are really trying to maybe communicate with your spirit guides, with God, with the universe. This is a really good stone to help you do that. It is like the divine coming into a physical form, if you will. Sort of like selenite, they say, is the physical form of like the moon's energy. This is like the divine in a physical form. Super cool. The quartz crystal can be used to facilitate both speaking with and receiving information from the spiritual and otherworldly masters, teachers, and healers. Your spirit guides. <laughs> so there is like... I mean, so many pages all about the quartz crystal and all about the other types of quartz crystals, all the different colors um, and all of their individual properties. I definitely recommend getting your hands on this book if you can find it. I will do my best to link it down below if I can find it online somewhere. But it is amazing. It is definitely just like a super spiritual version of 
the crystal bible but i think they both kind of go hand in hand i like to have both the spiritual and the scientific aspects of it just is very interesting to me so that is everything that i have for clear quartz for you guys today and i hope that you enjoyed it if you um want to do more videos on how to maybe meditate with these how to get in touch with your spirit guides using clear quartz definitely let me know in the comments down below but i do have two videos where you can learn to use clear quartz a little bit better there's the video that i do for a cleansing ritual that i do in the shower you don't have to do it in the shower i just like to do that but it definitely teaches you how to kind of create an energy circuit using clear quartz crystals um, and you only need two of them for that and I do have a couple clear quartz points on my website that you can buy so I'll link that down below um, the other video that I have about clear quartz is kind of not exactly about clear quartz it's more about my plant life <laughs> but i do talk about the fact that i like to put clear quartz crystals in my plants it helps them grow and i also really like to set intentions with them that way too it's really powerful um and that amplifying energy is even more amazing when you get to see like a physical thing grow as your like intention is coming to life like your plant is growing with that clear quartz inside it's just it's a really cool way to be able to visualize it i'll leave those videos down below and i hope they help you out and let me know what kind of things using clear quartz you guys would like to see on the channel and make sure to head over to tayluna.com where i have all of the crystal bible information there for you there's all of the videos that we've done before there's also a couple printable worksheets that you guys can print out and use so if that will help you too i will leave the link down in the description for you and you can go and check it out I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are excited that the Crystal Bible series is still a thing. And let me know in the comments down below which crystal you guys would like to hear about next. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching and learning with me and letting me teach you all the things that I know. Make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I will see you guys on Friday for Thrift Flip Friday. I have a really exciting video for you. I love you to the moon and back and I will see you on Friday. Bye. Ah. <laughs>